What's up, guys? David Feldman, Macrius. And what I want to show you today is why store visits in Google Ads, the conversion action that's automatically populated in a local business account, means nothing. Nothing. Like nothing. Let me show you. I think I have everything blurred out. Okay. So if we look at December 1st through 25th compared to the previous month, this is a local business. And these accounts, or I'm sorry, this campaign does spend a, this account does spend a quite a bit of money, $27,000 in the last 25 days. I'm looking at specific filtered campaigns. And it's like when I go to my conversions and I have to look at, um, there's some online stuff in here too. So really the spend roll only looking at is 13.5. But if I look at my conversions, it shows a big problem, right? It shows we're down 17%, about almost 18% actually. And when I spread that out, it shows me, okay, 557 compared to 678, we're off 120 conversions. Well, that's not good, right? That's not good at all. It's like, why am I off that many conversions? My cost is nearly the same. My cost per conversion increased by almost 20%. What's going on here, right? Well, before we all freak out, this is what we have to realize. Store visits, especially when applied to local businesses, don't mean anything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a thing by segmenting by conversion action because that's going to tell me exactly what type of conversions we're missing out on. It's a great, very, very useful report. I'm going to go segment conversions and conversion action. Perfect. So I segmented by conversion action. I went to my filtered campaigns, dropped them out. So I'm only looking at the campaigns I need to look at that are supposedly generating store visits. And what do I find? I find that most of my conversions are roughly on par, like this one's a lot. Um, I have to blur out most of them because it gives the name of the store because we have it tied to GA4. So with that, it's like, okay, when I get the store visits though, I'm down 75%. It's my biggest decrease in fluctuated conversions. And notice like, okay, I'm up one, that's 545%. Well, up one... It, I'm at one conversion. These percentages don't really make sense, right? But this is kind of a big drop off, you know, 75%. So we got to look into that. What I do, store visits went from 144 to 36. Guess what? If that were true, our client's business would have been tanking. But guess what? It hasn't. I see this happen with store visits, especially... It, it fluctuates like one month it's really good and then another month it's really off and I don't understand it and it's not just this account I see it all the time so a store visit sounds like a great metric but I've pretty much just written it off because I don't think it's good I don't think it's good at all it's not reliable it muddies up my numbers I can't turn it off inside conversion like conversion settings because for this business unit it's one of those Google populated conversions that needs to be in there Maybe somebody knows something I don't, but long story short, and for most cases, you cannot reliably trust the store visits metrics conversion within Google Ads. That's my rant for today. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you take a little bit from segmenting by conversion action to see your different conversions and how that could actually benefit you in the long run. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. I'm going to record another video pretty soon and publish it even sooner. No, probably a little bit later than that. But um, hopefully all is well. See you in the next one. Take care.